Hey guys, what's up? It's another JRob447 video back at it again. And we're going to get the action started with an already scored touchdown by your Orlando Sentinels against the Chicago Bears. And anyway, uh, here's another installment of my video. Uh, the Madden franchise or the owner mode, whatever you want to call it. Connected careers, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, the Orlando Sentinels, we did not start the season out very well. But a win last week might just give us an edge against these Bears. So anyway, what I want to talk about is my first ever baseball game ever in my life. Yes, ever first organized baseball game is, in fact, on Monday, tomorrow. When, whenever you watch this video, I'm going to be playing baseball. So yeah, that's my first ever baseball game. Uh, You know, come a long way. I got my technique better uh, my first week. I, my fielding, infielding was ter like, it was terrible. It wasn't terrible. It just wasn't, you know, great. And the past few weeks, I've been getting really good at it. So hopefully that can translate into the game wherever the coach puts me. Because, you know, right now he puts me in the outfield, primarily right outfield or left outfield. Because, you know, who hits the ball into right outfield, into the right field? Nobody. Because unless you're a lefty. So, yeah. Anyway, my hitting has to get better. I'm trying to work out so I can get my arm strength up there. And, yeah, we score a touchdown right there with Darren Sproles. That was one of our free agent acquisitions that we acquired. And he has been doing wonders for this team. Thank God that we acquired him because we really needed him to step up on this team. And Anthony McCoy, he is stepping up. Nope, that was not. Was that Anthony McCoy? I'm not even sure. I think that was Jeremy Macklin. Either way, both of them really stepping up for this team. Hopefully they can stay next year because we really want to build on this success that we're going to have for the next few years with this team that we have. Building around Terrell Pryor, our star-studded quarterback. So anyway, we dumped it down. We got a few yards right there. Terrell Pryor having an uh, okay day so far, and that's what we need him to do because if he doesn't do well, then it's going to be hard for us to win. That's just the truth right there, and the truth hurts sometimes. So anyway, we're going with an empty backfield, empty, and we're going to drop back five wide, and we do not convert the first down. So I say, you know what? Why not let it fly? Why don't we go for it? Let's see what can happen. Snap the ball, but it's broken up. And it's a turnover on downs, but we get a touchdown. And let's show you the instant replay on how we got this touchdown from Kevin Burnett. Anyway, Kevin Burnett sh didn't strip uh, whatever his name was, Jay Cutler, but he did recover the fumble and take it home. And Kevin Burnett... He's primarily an outside linebacker, but I put him as a D-end because we do not have a lot of depth in that position. So anyway, DJ Hayden, another interception on the year, really doing wonders for this team. You know, if you don't know, DJ Hayden had a heart condition or whatever, so he has a scar that goes straight down his um uh, his body. I I'm I'm not I might not be telling the truth. I, I'm not sure. I think so. That's what I think. So anyway, yeah. So we're in the red zone, and it's about, it's second and, or third and whatever. And we're going to run the ball, and Darren Sproles, I tell you, a great running back indeed. Great running back indeed. And hopefully, he can stay as well after this year's over. And that is just threading the needle. Terrell Pryor looking better every week. Straight to Anthony McCoy for the touchdown. But don't count out the Bears yet. They're down. But they're going to have to make a presence. And that is Matt Forte taking it up the middle for about three or four yards. And as March Madness progresses, how do you guys like it so far? Honestly, for the women's, I already know who's winning it. It's going to be UConn. Shout out to Stephanie Dolson. I don't care what nobody says. She is bad. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, gotta, I, gotta, I just got to put that out there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Bria Hartley, she's from Long Island, so she was, that's what's up. Brianna Stewart, she can dunk. So that's what's up. Um, so, yeah, they're going to take it this year. Nobody's going to beat them. Come on. UConn, they just obliterate every team this year. Every team they played, they obliterated them. Sorry, Louisville. You guys don't have a chance against Kentucky. I'm sorry. So, anyway, for the men's. Dayton lost. They got knocked out. But, you know, they had a good fight. They had a good fight. Last year, you had 
um, Florida Gulf Coast that made it to the Sweet 16 and got beat by, um, guess who? Florida. So, Florida, they like beating up Cinderella's, but it's okay. It's all right. So, yeah, uh, my brackets are pretty much done now that UConn beat Michigan State. I did not expect um, UConn to get this far, not even to the Final Four, because in one of my brackets, I predicted them to lose in the first round to St. Joe's, but they didn't. They kept on winning. And it just blows my goddamn mind. But anyway, we're still up this game right now. So Terrell Pryor, he's overlooking his options. He's going to throw an interception. That's going to be his first interception of the day, folks. But hey, we're still winning the game. So can't be too mad. I don't know why he tried to hurdle. He was trying to hurdle over a freaking field mouse or some shit. But it's, it's okay. Also... I'm um, working on another Omegle video for my comedy channel, so you guys can go check that out whenever you have a time for it. And I'm actually watching the Michigan playing against um, Kentucky game, and Michigan is down by two. Pass it out for three! He bricks it. Oh, and it goes in. Wow, I should not be watching this while I'm doing a commentary. But hey, you know what? This is what we do. I'm trying to commentate. And watch a game, clutch. That's how clutch I am. And I finished the essay, clutch. And I scored a touchdown with Terrell Plyer, clutch, clutch. But Matt Forte scores a touchdown. Ah, <sighs> we just gotta, we just gotta, we gotta clamp down, cause this team could come back at any given moment. All right, any given moment they could come back. So anyway, they kick it off to us. We're up 35 to 10, and that is Franklin taking it with a nice return. And we almost got a touchdown on that return, but we didn't. If you guys look at Franklin, he is big. The dude is 6'4", playing a cornerback spot. That is, he is large, all right? He is really large. So Darren Sproles taking it to the outside again, getting about seven yards on that carry. So we're going to set up shop. Right around midfield, Terrell Pry is going to step back, and he does not get a lot of yards on that pass. So, this drive will end up, no, we're going for it. Wow, I was really overzealous this game. Even though we're up by 25, I said, why not let it fly? So, we send a guy in motion, as they do in the CFL, the Canadian Football League, and that is Anthony McCoy juking one dude out of his shoes. Jesus Christ, did you see those moves? And anyway, Terrell Pryor with the precision. Don't do it to him, T. Pry. Good Lord. And that is Denarius Moore, I think, on the touchdown. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, we're up by 32 points. And that is Darren Sproles taking it to the outside again, breaking the tackle. And he picks up about nine yards. And he's doing really good this game. Really great this game. So, we're not, we're about... Around the 25-yard line, Terrell Pryor steps back, finds Anthony McCoy yet again for another reception and another first down. And that has been Terrell Pryor's primary receiver this year, Anthony McCoy. He's 6'5". He has a big stature, like Jimmy Graham almost. And he just do what it do. He just do what it do. And yeah, Terrell Pryor showing you what he can do on his feet like the great Randall Cunningham, as you guys remember, played for the Eagles and the Vikings. And that was a great pass again by Terrell Pryor. I'm just telling you this guy is going to be special one day. In real life, I don't know because no team actually gives him a chance. And when I watched him play for Ohio State, this guy really had a great chance to become something special. And oh my God, Kentucky just knocked down a three. That just killed my vibe right now. But anyway, we're going to get another rush. Darren Sproles going to take it home. Laid back for the celebration. But anyway, this has been another J-Rob 447 video. Kentucky's going to go on to win this game. The Sentinels are going to go on to win this game. But if Kentucky wins this game, I'm going to be tight. But yeah, anyway, it's been another J-Rob 447 video. We just route the Chicago Bears this game. And hopefully, you come and watch another video. Peace. I'm out.